If you could whisper your burning desire into the wind, what would you tell him? Perhaps a long broken dream, a hope dormant deep in your heart. And if we told you that there is a magical moment, a night in which the sky is lit up pink and the power of desires is amplified, would you be ready to entrust yourself to its spell? This moment is the 23rd of April, when the full moon will turn pink like the cherry trees in bloom and will give life to a phenomenon that is not just astronomical. Follow this Zen story where Akiro, an elderly and wise Buddhist monk, will reveal the secrets of the red moon and how to maximize your spiritual growth thanks to this phenomenon. On the 23rd of April, you will immerse yourself in a night full of spirituality, legends, and mysteries. And you will discover how the power of forgiveness, compassion, and love can transform lives and ignite hope even in the most wounded hearts. And if you stay until the end of the video, you will discover a truly emotional ending, and together with the spiritual secrets of the pink moon, you may also find a key to opening your chest of desires and whispering your dreams to the wind. But before continuing, if you haven't already done so, subscribe to the channel and activate notifications so that you are updated when we publish new content for your spiritual growth. The 23rd of April 2024 is approaching and, while the first rays of the spring sun filtered through the branches of the cherry trees in the temple garden, the monk Akiro is preparing to speak to his disciples about the secrets of the pink moon. The air vibrated with palpable excitement because everyone knew that, on that special night, the pink moon would illuminate the sky, giving a fascinating show full of spiritual meanings. Akiro, with his face furrowed by the wrinkles of time and ancient wisdom, exuded a contagious serenity while his eyes shone with an intense light. The pink moon on the night of April 23rd, my dear disciples, Akiro began in a calm voice, is not only an astronomical event, but a moment of great rebirth and spiritual renewal. You should know that its color, soft and delicate like a rose petal, symbolizes the universal love, compassion, and tenderness that should permeate our hearts. A murmur of assent ran through the group of disciples present at this fascinating lesson. One of them, the young Takeshi, asked respectfully, Master, how can we best seize this opportunity that the pink moon offers us? Akiro smiled and replied, There are many ways to honor the pink moon and benefit from its beneficial energy. First, I invite you to meditate under its light. That night, let its delicate energy envelop you and help you release the negative emotions, resentments, and fears that clutter your soul. Also, Akiro continued, the pink moon is a good time to plant seeds of positive intention for the future. So while she lights up your face, close your eyes and visualize your deepest desires with a clear mind and an open heart. The pink moon will help you make your dreams blossom and give life to your most hidden aspirations. The disciples listened attentively to their master's words, absorbed in the thoughts and desires they kept in their hearts. Akiro, after observing them one by one, invited them to follow him into a small forest located on the edge of the temple, one of those mystical places where you can get lost and find yourself. On the night of April 23rd, look for a quiet place like this, Immerse yourself in the quiet of nature and listen to its sounds, said Akiro. The singing of birds, the rustling of leaves, the murmur of the wind, these are all messages that nature sends us to help us find inner peace. But we, nowadays, are too distracted by everyday life to listen to them and to let them fill our hearts and souls with their energy. Master Akiro, a disciple asked enthusiastically, why don't we all go back together to this very wood that night? Thus, having reached the 23rd of April, the disciples sat down in silence under the trees of that small and fascinating forest, allowing themselves to be enveloped by the beauty of nature. The sun was starting to set, and the light of the pink moon was starting to paint the sky with a delicate, yet intense, shade of pink. Here is the pink moon, 
Akiro exclaimed in an emotional voice, admire its beauty and be inspired by its message of hope and rebirth. The disciples looked up at the sky and admired the pink moon rising majestically on the horizon. Its soft, rosy light illuminated their faces while their hearts opened to new possibilities of growth and transformation. The night passed in meditation and silence under the pink moon that watched over them like a loving mother, and at dawn, the disciples felt reborn with renewed energy and deep inner peace. They had grasped the essence of Akiro's message. The pink moon was a precious gift, an opportunity not to be wasted to cultivate their inner garden and to make the beauty of their soul flourish. Master, the pink moon is truly a moment of great beauty and spirituality, exclaimed the disciple Takeshi in a delicate tone. Yes, the pink moon reminds us that life is a continuous cycle of rebirth and renewal, the elderly monk replied in a whisper. Always remember that, just like the moon that changes shape every night, we too can evolve and transform to become the best version of ourselves. Takeshi nodded and asked, how can we make the most of this energy for our spiritual growth? How can we make sure this night doesn't go to waste? In addition to meditation and the release of negative emotions, the pink moon invites us to cultivate universal love, Akiro said with a smile. So my dears, open your hearts to compassion for yourselves and for others. Offer your support to those in need and carry out selfless acts of kindness. The pink moon will amplify your positive energy and spread it into the world. It will be like an immense multiplication of compassion, gratitude, and inner peace. Your words are like balm to our souls, master. Is there anything else we can do to honor the pink moon and its beneficial energy? Takishi continued, interpreting the sentiment of everyone present. Akiro smiled. Listening deeply to nature is a precious gift that the pink moon offers us on this special night. Close your eyes and let the sounds of the forest envelop you like a cloak of peace. The singing of birds, the rustling of leaves, the murmur of the wind. These are all messages that nature sends you to help you find inner calm and connection with your deepest being. A reverential silence fell on the group of disciples who carefully immersed themselves in the sounds of the forest. The singing of birds mixed with the rustling of leaves and the distant murmur of a stream, creating a harmonious melody that caressed everyone's soul. Akiro opened his arms and took a deep breath. Do you feel how nature breathes and breathe respecting its rhythm as if you were one with creation? The pink moon amplifies this connection, allowing you to tap into the ancestral wisdom of the earth. Listen with your heart and let yourselves be guided by his teachings. As the pink moon rose higher and higher in the sky, Akiro told his disciples a fascinating legend that dated back many centuries. It is said that in a distant time, there lived a young woman named Sakura. She was a woman of great beauty and kindness, but her heart was sad. She had lost her beloved in the war and could not find peace. One day, as the pink moon phenomenon approached, Sakura met a wise old man. This told her that the pink moon was a symbol of hope and rebirth. And he advised her to plant a small cherry tree under the light of that special moon and to water it every day with her tears. Sakura followed the sage's advice and planted a small cherry tree under the pink moon. The tree bloomed luxuriantly and its intense pink flowers illuminated his garden. Every time she looked at the tree, Sakura was reminded of the sage's words and his message of hope. One day, a young warrior arrived at Sakura village. He was hurt and tired, and Sakura welcomed him into her home. The warrior fell in love with Sakura, and she with him. They got married and lived happily ever after under the cherry tree that Sakura had planted right under the pink moon. From that day, that special and mysterious moon became a symbol of love, hope, and rebirth, not only for Sakura, but for all the villagers. The disciples listened to the legend with enchantment. When Akiro finished, 
silence fell on the forest. Only the singing of birds and the rustling of leaves kept them company. But what do the legend of Sakura and the phenomenon of the pink moon teach us? Takeshi asked. They teach us that hope can flourish even in the darkest moments. Akiro said in a calm voice, the pink moon is a good time to open our hearts to love, compassion, and self-forgiveness. It is a time to let go of the past and embrace the future with confidence and hope. It's as if, that night, a secret portal opened that we must cross. The disciples meditated in silence for the rest of the night, immersed in the beauty of the pink moon and the words of wisdom of their master. At dawn, they felt reborn with renewed energy and a prop.